in just a minute. But yeah, Gina, um, you really do have that out or down path. You really do. Oh, we lied. Yeah. I 
gone, she got to be gone if she had surgery. That didn't add up. So she was like, yeah. She said, if you listen to me, all you got to do is listen to your body. Only eat when you're hungry. Stop when you're satisfied. And I was like, that is too simple to, to work. It's too simple to work because you're eating whatever you want to eat. But you're only eating when you're hungry. If you're not hungry, why are you eating? If you have leftovers, you leave it over there. That's what leftover means. Leave it over there. Yeah, don't over there. yeah you don't have to finish it. But that's, it was a shock when I seen she lost all that weight. And that really made me want to start really focusing on listening to my body, journaling, um, what I ate that day. That way if I messed up, I could go back and look at my journal to see what I done wrong. Okay. Okay. Now she went from like last year to up this year, but now keep in mind, it was like October. Jenna was not having one-on-one -on -one sessions every week for the support and accountability that I offer my other clients. Um, so we would just Marco Poloing um, back and forth and or she would be like, I'm going to the gym, or I got this personal trainer, or whatever. And then when she get frustrated, I send her a Marco Polo and say, have you journaled this? Have you planned that? What are your thoughts? Have you been eating when you're hungry? Have you been just going through the things? And y'all, it took until when? Last month. Last month. It took until last month. What happened? What happened? What, 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 what just clicked? It's just like, it's really hard to explain what clicks. That's how you know it's unclicked because you can't explain it. All you know is I fixed the plate of food one day. And when I, I was hungry when I fixed the food. That was the whole purpose of fixing it. So I was eating the food and then I felt like I had enough. And so I just pushed the plate away and I actually still had food on the plate. I used to finish it because I don't want to leave nothing. And I pushed the plate away. And the rest of the evening, I was not even hungry. I only had ate twice that day. I only got hungry twice. So I noticed that my body ain't even hungry as I think it is. You don't have to eat much as you think you do. Most of y'all out there, including me at one time, and me, was eating just because we can. Or, oh, that look good. Or thinking about food. Food, food, food. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I got really tired of my weight for once. So anyway, when I pushed that plate of food away and I seen that I'm on a shirt. When I um, pushed that plate of food away and I seen that I was okay, I didn't have to finish it, then it kind of started clicking like, it don't even take that much to be satisfied. When you eat and have to undo your pants, you didn't ate too much, you didn't overate. You kind of just have to listen to your body. Right now, my body is not hungry. So, and the way that I feel, it'll let you know. The way that I feel, I probably won't eat nothing the rest of the night. If I do, that's being greedy, and I'm probably going to gain a pound back. But it's awesome because you're still eating whatever you want to eat. If I want a Whopper, I'm going to eat a Whopper. If I want a macaroni, I'm going to eat macaroni. Them casseroles y'all be seeing on my page. We eat them. We eat them. We eat them. We eat them. But let, I, I might make a big plate. I'm not talking about no portion stuff. I might make a big plate. But it don't matter how big my plate is because I'm going to stop when I'm satisfied. Whatever left. It's left over there somewhere. Right. So that's what left over means. Left over there. <laughs> it's really easy. Yeah. And when you start, honestly, after that day, I started doing it every day. And then I started getting on the scale. Then I started seeing pounds <clears throat> drop off. Like two weeks, I lost 10 pounds. And I'm still trying to go even further down because I'm not at the goal that I want to be at. And it's amazing because all you got to think about is I only eat when I'm hungry. If you take your kids to the drive through restaurant and they get something to eat, you ain't got to get nothing if you ain't hungry. Or if you do get something, put it up until you're hungry. So easy and simple. But it is always easy to mess up because we're human. But you can always go back and fix it. And that's just part of my program. Because weight loss is not just about a number. It's not about just getting to your goal weight. I'm at my goal weight. But don't think that I don't still have to coach myself. Because just the other day, I was just telling Gina that just last night, I had an overeat. Okay? I've only been on this journey for a year of my um, lifestyle change. Because the purpose is to lose weight the way you can live. Okay? And I'm not going to be uh, living off no salads and stuff. That's just not me. 
Uh, so, anyway, uh, last night, though, I overate. No, two nights ago, I had, um, I overate. I had been doing it for like two weeks, actually. So, my diet brain said, well, just go ahead and work out. But Gina, did I have to work out to lose this weight? Nope, not at all. Nope. And that's what I like because we ain't got to work out. I tried it. I ain't even got a personal trainer, and he is awesome. And uh, working out is really if you want these abs and you're trying to get in shape, make a little tiny bodybuilding muscles. That's what working out is for us to get the stuff together on your body. But to just lose weight. <laughs> no, because so. <laughs> told me, uh, you need to just go on and work out then since you had those overeats. You know, you just ate three donuts because we went to Sky Orchard or whatever the name of it is. <laughs> and so my diet brain, like, just go on and work out. Just go on and work out. You'll be all right. But I had to coach myself. And I did not. I refused to work out out of guilt. I refused to work out out of punishment. My body does not, I don't do that anymore. And so right. intentionally, I did not. I do not. I just, you know what? Tomorrow is another day, and I'll start over tomorrow. It's not even starting over. Sure. It's not starting over. It's just tomorrow's just another day. But without support and accountability, because I don't just teach, all right, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. It's really about a thought change, a mindset shift. And so that's where the one-on-one -on -one sessions come in at, because, um, uh, first of all, if you find, if you don't, if you're not, if you're eating and you're not hungry, then why are you eating? You know, so that's what we bring to the table weekly. I meet you where you are and we go from there. And, um, and yeah, so since I did not record my weight loss journey, Gina has volunteered to be on the show periodically so we can, um, keep up with her journey. And remember this, does, you just don't have to be perfect with this. That's the thing I love. You don't have to be perfect. Uh, because I'm not perfect. I'm on this journey still with my clients. I have a private Facebook group. So if you're watching, hey, shout out to Top Coaching Tribe members. Um, but anyway, uh, that's where I offer additional tips and support. And I'm very transparent with them. Right? You in the group? Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm very transparent whenever I have a moment or whatever. I'm very transparent in that group because I want them to see that I am a real, I'm a human. I'm, I mean, and I'm doing this strictly solely by listening to my body and my dream my desire my my passion is to help you do the same only if you're sick and tired right of being I sick up. and tired i messed up about a week ago i was in the bed and i was not hungry and i seen a debbie cake looking at me <laughs> <laughs> Smell the smoke come from the plate of all the eating. Just habits. 
Just yep. have it. Now, this is not a coaching session, but she has said a lot that I, if this was a session, I would coach her on. Because she said uh, a lot of things. Because, see, one thing that I teach my clients is to have a better relationship with food and yourself and lose weight guilt-free. You heard her say she was guilty. You know, she's not guilty because of whatever, but she was guilty because of something else. What I would teach my client about how to lose weight without the guilt, how to lose weight um, and figure out what those emotions are, what were those thoughts that led to you getting that Debbie cake. But that's not what this is. This is not a session. So I'm just letting her talk because this is Toya T. <laughs> you can't have tea if I not let her talk. So right. anyway, um, let's see. Uh, all right. So uh, based on what you know and how you feel with the results that you have gotten, that you have uh, gotten in two weeks, uh, what are you going to do um, from this point on? What, what is your decision? I am going to continue eating when I am hungry. I'm going to continue listening to my body. Thanksgiving is coming up, holidays. I don't care about none of that. I'm going to cook like I always do. I'm going to cook everything that I always cook. Because I don't have no restrictions. And I'm going to fix my plate like I always fix it. And I'm going to eat it. And when I'm satisfied, I'll stop. If I ain't satisfied, I'm going to keep eating. I ain't limited to nothing. I ain't cooking no fat free yams, none of that. <laughs> All my stuff can be cooked like y'all cook y'all fried chicken and canola oil. Whatever. But when I sit down to eat, I'm going to eat. When I feel satisfied, I'm going to stop. And if I don't get hungry the rest of the day and I got all this Thanksgiving food, then that's just what it is. I'm not hungry. There's another day that I will be hungry. As long as the food is still good and put up, I'll eat it then. But I'm going to continue this journey because I like seeing the pounds drop off without me having to go to the gym, have them take money out of my account, have the time of day dead away. But I'm tired of that. They ain't going to be doing it. <laughs> Yeah, so what I'll do as a coach, we're going to wrap this up, but uh, my job as a coach is just to help you uh, follow through in a way you never have before. Uh, because without, we all know what to do, honestly. Right. But without support and accountability, we just don't do it. We just don't do it. And like I said, I coach you on your thoughts because the Bible even says your thought create your reality. What a man thinks, so is he. That is true. Right. So we are the result of our thoughts. If you think weight loss is hard, then guess what? It's going to be hard. Right. Yeah. It's, then it's hard. I had to learn it. It took a while to figure that out. Because yeah. I was telling myself, bad, I'm just bad. I ain't never going to lose this weight. And that's what was happening. Right. I was never losing the weight. She was a result of what she was thinking. What she was thinking is what she was saying. And then she was getting those results. Um, so anyway, um, let's see. I think I covered everything for the first kind of tea. But comment below if something we said today resonated with you, or if you would like to see more Tanya Teas on Thursdays, because that's where we'll be. Next week, you gotta stay tuned, because next week, yes. we're having cash money on, because she and I are in a contest to see who can tone. Now, she's 17, okay? I'm 48, <laughs> I'm 48, so. But we, we've been in this contest for a while. Uh, but we start over because now you guys are my accountability. I've got to do right, and I've got to really, really tone. So we're we're it's our arms, back, and abs. So stay tuned next week because you're gonna see some skin. Woo woo! And not skin is hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but really, comment below if something that we said today resonated with you. And like I said, this is not a session. This is not a coaching session. That session, that's not what this is. It's just I want you to see, not just hear it from me about uh, how easy <laughs> weight loss can be. Uh, my, my sign man is telling us cut, but uh, I, I don't want you to just hear it from me. I want I want I want you to hear it from you know clients or, or my practice clients, from real people right. that that it, that it, that I have helped. And like I said, it wasn't even one on one with her. Just me every now and then. Telling her, you know, some tips, giving her some tips or whatever. But, That's right. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And I hope you come back. Pat, come, look at them. <laughs> come, pat, pat, pat. Hope you come back again next Thursday.